Welcome to the next in the Strain Sense how to video series. In today's video series, we'll demonstrate how to produce an efficiency map for an electric motor test stand. Here is a schematic of a test stand with a DC emulator supplying inverter driving a motor loaded by a load dyno. We have a PA7 power analyzer here with inputs for DC link voltage and currents, three phase power voltage and currents, and speed and torque. And we have a motor controller with a CAN interface. The output is an efficiency map with speed on the x axis, torque on the y axis, and efficiency on the color axis. I will now show in more detail how the efficiency map is generated. Here we can see the physical inputs to the module. We have the PA7 analyzer chassis with tri modules installed. We have a tri and power module for three phase voltage and current inputs and voltage and current inputs for the DC link. We have inputs for the speed and torque and we have a CAM input to trigger the power analyzer. We then have a three phase power group configured with the three phase voltages and currents. We then also have a mechanical power group configured using the speed and torque. Mechanical power is synchronized with the three phase power. With this setup, we can then add an efficiency map simply by clicking on the button here. The efficiency map automatically configures the x axis is speed, the y axis is torque, and the z axis is the efficiency. We can give the chart a title, I'll call it motor efficiency. We can also configure an input channel to trigger a data point in the map. I'll then go to my CAN module and select my trigger input channel. We can also configure the period of time that an average is taken for. The motor efficiency map is now configured. I can then close that down and go back into the main display system. I can then add a new screen for the efficiency map that's been created. I can simply drag and drop that onto a new screen. And we can see automatically that speed is configured on the x-axis, torque on the y-axis, and I can configure the z-axis for the expected efficiency range. I'm now ready to run a test, running through the matrix of speed and torque set points and to populate this type of table. I can also configure interpolation between data points. Here's an example of a chart generated previously, again where we see speed and torque settings and efficiency on the colour axis. This chart can be exported as a, a report, as a, an image file, uh, used in any type of requirement for customer reporting. If you'd like further information on the power analysis system and the efficiency mapping tool, Please get in contact with Strain Sense at the, the website. We're available to answer your questions and look forward to being in contact soon.